Thank you much. You bet. Well, the U.S. The Veterans Affairs scandal now is sending a letter to the president today detailing the violations that she found with the system so far. This comes as recently discovered records showing VA administrators knew two years ago that employees in the Southwest were falsifying doctor appointment data and failed to stop it. At one facility alone in Fort Collins, Colorado, not only were there severe wait time issues, but staff and provider shortages that delayed appointments. Some were blind scheduled and even had appointments canceled and not told when they were actually rescheduled. Records were changed to make wait times appear shorter and schedulers were even placed on a bad boy list if their appointments were greater than 14 days from the recorded desired dates for veterans. Patricia Driscoll is the CEO of Frontline Defense Systems and president and executive board member of the Armed Forces Foundation. Great to have you on the show. I mean, we, I guess we could just go on and on and on and on about what these reports we are going to say about our VA system. And you know this so well. You're working with veterans all the time. It, it's so disheartening that people would take these appointments so lightly. You know, we get calls into our foundation every single day of people who are who are dying and they are they've attempted suicide multiple times and they've gone into the VA asking for help they're doing what we've asked them to do which is to come forward and get help and when they go there they're being denied or they're being told sure I'll get you a psychological appointment but you can have one one time a month and these are people who've tried to commit suicide multiple times and they're told your case isn't severe enough hmm. you know come back when when you are and I think I, I had one case that that somebody tried to commit suicide three times and was turned away for help it's you so know, and our foundation has to go. Yes, yeah, it's, it's heartbreaking. This, these are people's lives they're messing with. Well, something else that's going to really make people upset today is when you compare the kind of care that the detainees at Gitmo are getting compared to our yes. own veterans who have fought for our safety and our freedoms, it's really kind of sad. Here is what the numbers say. 110 medical personnel for the 149 remaining detainees, a nearly one-to-one -one ratio. What do you make of that? Yeah, 365 days a year, 24-7. Our detainees, and these are people that we know have done something wrong, that have killed thousands of Americans. They are down there for a reason, yet they have better health coverage than the people who have died, who have fought for us, their family members. It's just disgusting to me that our administration has allowed this to happen to our veterans. And this isn't new news. Yeah, apparently there's this has no, been going on there, a long time. There, there's no wait time at all for Gitmo detainees. In fact, in the middle of the None. night, if they have a bellyache, yes. they can get a physician. And by the way, it's not limited to just medical care, Patricia. Dental and psych services, as you were just talking about, Gitmo detainees get that right on yes. the spot, but not our veterans. And physical therapy as well. So they're, they're getting better care than any of our veterans are. All right. Uh, unbelievable to many who are hearing this right now, but we're going to keep on that VA scandal. Patricia, thanks so much for your time. Thanks. Developing now, word today that Ahmed Abu Katala